The home at 835 US 2A, the Bangor Road, has a big lot. Apple trees, raspberries, an above ground pool, extra storage, a double attached garage. Big open front porch and you're just the right distance from town. The garage is cathedral ceiling, 34 by 30, gives you plenty of workspace and there's a drain. This country home has a lot of tile flooring, hardwood flooring, it has a lot of space. A den with a wood stove, archways to a dining room and a kitchen. Tile floor, tile black splash. Those atrium doors overlook the pool, the big backyard. Cathedral ceilings, there's a fan, there's hardwood floors in the great room. You have a den for hobbies off the great room before you hit the laundry room that has a sink. With two full baths and this kitchen setup, you could have an apartment for your mother-in-law. The full bath off the laundry room for extra kitchen. Leaving the laundry room, we hit the original living room in the ranch style country home. This was the living room before the big addition. It has a closet, fan light, lots of sunlight on the east side and hardwood floors. Here's another full bath with tile flooring. The tub is one piece. The flooring is tiled. Down the hall, three bedrooms. You can have another bedroom in the basement that has an outside entrance. Bedroom one at the end of the hall. Bedroom two. Bedroom three. That last bedroom had two closets. This one has a double one. Let's head down into the basement. As the kids get older, it's nice to have a region that's like their own apartment. This is like that in the basement. Your fourth bedroom. And there is an outside entrance. So you don't have to worry about fire. Hot water heat zone downstairs and up. Talk about storage space or more expansion area. This home has, it's about 64 feet long. You had a wood stove in the entry. Here's a centrally located wood stove and a Wild McLean oil hot water boiler. They're the best. You could have your washer and dryer downstairs or put another set down here, but boy, upstairs is awfully convenient where it is now. This is extra basement underneath that great room. It didn't just plop it on a slab or a stub wall. It's a full dry basement. I'm Main Realtor Andy Moores. Thank you for watching and listening to the Main Real Estate Channel. It's a nice home. It's in a great location.